Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me, I'm in Scotland and I'm away for a couple of days and we're on the way to the Isle of Skye and we had to come and check out a couple of places along the way and the first place that we're coming to check out is where? What's it called? Isle of Skye. So, no, no. Oh yeah, a Kilchurn Castle. Yeah, so it's a lovely little spot. By the way, I have a lovely tan. I was uh, in Costa del Kilke and Darren is a milk bottle. <laughs> Darren is always a milk bottle because I'm actually Irish and this fella has a bit of Italian blood or something in him anyway. But don't let his name fool Fine. you. So yeah, that's why we're here for a few days. It's myself and Dermot and another guy as well, Patrick Murta. Come on, Paddy. Come over here and say hi, Patrick. I'm Patrick, it's Paddy. Hi, Patrick. Get in here, look. look, see, look no, he's darker than him and I'm the whitest of the lot, so you can call me Casper <laughs> for the next few days. So yeah, we're going to go over and look at this beautiful castle and see what kind of shots we can get. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. Let's go and let's see. As you can see behind me here now is Kilchurn Castle and there's a lot of reeds that are in between us and the castle so I'm coming handheld with my 7200 and what I'm doing is trying to get a shot here to compress the scene because uh, the guys actually came out earlier on and they had a look and there's some hoarding all around the entire castle so I'm going to try and avoid that within the images so I'm not going to go for any wide angle shots I'm just going to use the, uh, the long lens and by using the long lens here as well with some of the reeds that are there it actually should give a very very nice shot so that's what we're going to do we're going to head up this way anyway see what we can get from here After taking those shots now, we decided to actually head back because the rain is starting to come. But behind me here, you can probably just make out this nice bit of light here coming into the valley of these mountains. So again, with my long lens, I've taken a shot here of Viaduct Bridge, which is coming across here and then lit up with some lovely atmosphere and some moving clouds as well that are coming over the top of one of the peaks and being lit up as well nicely. Handheld shots, you know, I don't need to get my tripod in relation to it and using my long lens, but yeah, I think uh, two nice shots anyway from here. Both of them are different to the norm because normally on this here you get uh, views across the lake, you need flat cam water, but there's no flat cam water today. So I said I'd go for the shot within the reeds, got a shot as well of a pathway that's leading up towards the castle. And then here now as well with this beautiful movement of the uh, clouds going over the top of the ridges. Just about to 
arrive here on the nest, on the left. So oh, here we are at Black Rock Black Cottage. There's a sign there that says Black, Black Rock, Rock Cottage. Cottage, but Dermot, as always, is trying to correct me, saying that it's wrong. But it's actually right. I can read. I went to school. But yeah, so we're at this place here. Like I said earlier on, we were arriving in. It is a cliche shot. You know, it's something that is shot to death. But I haven't taken the photograph, so I said while I'm here, I might as well take that shot. The atmosphere that we had as well on the mountain behind there has dissipated unfortunately but looks like it might be coming back as well so we'll hang out here and we'll see what type we can get anyway but really really nice composition you know these things are honey, spot, honey pot locations for a reason so yeah we'll see what my shot turns out like next. take my first photograph there and I think it's actually quite nice um, there was nice light as well there now on the cottage while I took that shot but now what I've done is I've actually put on my big stopper and I'm able to get an exposure time of one second and that's recommended from Dermot who knows these settings more than me in relation to the camera and what I'm doing here is I'm trying to record a time lapse and I think it will be nice because the scene is going to light up and then go dark and then with the clouds that are moving over the top of the peak as well here I think it could be a nice shot how many shots have I got to take Dermot? 240 is it? No, that's just me. That, uh, you're taking 300 photographs and you'll stitch it all together for you internally. So, yeah, you're taking 300 photographs and it's going to stitch it all together for me internally as well. I've never done this before on the USR, so we'll see what it turns out like actually. I'll show it to you here now after this and then we'll see what else happens then with the light and the atmosphere that hopefully will return to what we saw when we were coming in here earlier on. But you know, there are quite a lot of clouds that are around the place so I'm sure something will nicely happen anyway but yeah we'll do this and then we'll check in and we'll see what we get next. Well, I actually do think that worked out quite nice. Didn't the back of the camera, you would have seen it actually there now just a moment ago. So hopefully it has worked out quite well. Now, you know, there's not much really more to be able to photograph from here. It's pretty much one composition. You can adjust it left or right. But I think I've actually done what I wanted to get done here. So we're going to continue on now here uh, and we're going to Buchel Etiv Moor. So there's a lovely bit of movement as well and some streams that are running down by that as well from memory. And I think that's the mountain actually that we'll be photographing as well. So it's not that far from here. So we're going to head on now and continue on our first day on our trip to Scotland on route to Sky.
Right, so it absolutely pissed rain for the entire afternoon after we were finished in the Black Rock Cottage. And we were going to come down here, we decided, you know what, we'll wait and we wait towards the end of the day. And what we have now here is something that I don't want to jinx, I'll say it could be good, but you know what I mean when I say it could be good. It be good. Now, I do think that here is probably not the spot that you normally come to to take photographs. So that's a good thing. We hopefully will find our own compositions. But what I've done is I was attracted to the large flow of water here that you see behind me. And I'm going at the moment here for a portrait orientation shot. And I'm getting a, a almost half a second of an exposure. I've got a 0.9 ND grad on to contain the sky, which like I say, hopefully, fingers crossed, something interesting will happen with it. The texture in the rocks here is absolutely beautiful. And this whole entire stream, I think there's compositions galore to be able to find here. Now, I was going to go down as well, really, really close to try and get something more intimate. But what you do with that is that you end up cutting off part of the huge, ginormous mountain that you have here behind me, which is Bukaletti's Moor. So I'm going to crack on here, fine tune a composition and Hopefully the couple of test shots will work out and then I'll give you a look at what I get from the first shots anyway and then we'll wait around for this light, fingers crossed, to come and cap off what has been an excellent first day here in Scotland. Next thing I've done now is I've come up here a bit higher actually because when I was down low here I was getting this lovely flow that's there and like I said with the mountain in the background but as I come up higher it's revealing more of the stream that's available here for me to photograph and I can see multiple bits of water as it will flow down and meanders down through the scene. So I've changed then from my portrait orientation into a landscape orientation and I'm at uh, 1.3 second of exposure and I'm at f9 at the moment and I have the peak of the mountain then bang smack in the center of the frame with the water then that's flowing around uh, through the actual scene. Now I have to be careful here because these rocks actually are quite slippy but on top of that these rocks are beautiful. The color in these rocks is stunning. The detail I'm able to get from the shots as well is excellent and even looking here in the back of the camera when I zoom in they're tack sharp. So. We're still hopeful that we get some nice light. There is some nice light on the distance behind you here. So that's over onto the east, but the sun is setting to the west. But we never know if this catches, it could be something special. But again, I don't want to say that because now that I have kind of said it, chances are it probably won't happen. But anyway, still some beautiful shots, I think, to be able to get from here. I'm going to play around now as well with some different elevations. And I might actually go down a bit lower again now behind you because I can see that there's a a uh, cascade that's falling down so I might get the camera close to that and get really really up front with the water with that the other one behind it and then the mountains as well uh, within the shot so yeah so far so good here on this beautiful location and even actually you know as I'm about to finish up on this piece I can see some beautiful clouds that are coming across uh, the other ridges and mountains around us as well here so yeah great so far show you what I have from this composition now and we'll continue to wait we have few minutes actually until sunset so hopefully we get a last burst or we get something that's uh, there to kind of reward us what we want to do but yeah brilliant so far
the place that I want to actually get to, I don't know if I'm able to get down to it or not, um, there's a big drop off actually of the rock that you're now sitting on. So I've come down to another area here where I am a bit more in the action and I still have, you know, the towering mountain that's above me and I've got these cascades as well that are rolling towards me. Now I've gone into portrait at the moment, but I've also taken a landscape shot. The portrait shot, I can, you know, kind of make the mountain a bit bigger using with the wide angle lens, but when I go so wide, I'm getting the area here that's in front of me, which I don't really want to have within the frame. So I'm at around 28 mil at the moment here, and I've got the camera pretty much level, and I'm taking the cascade that's here with the big boulder, and then the cascade on the right hand side, and I'm at, again, 1.3 seconds, I'm at F9. Now the light is starting to fade, so that's underexposed, so I'm probably about to go either more open in my aperture or I can take a longer shutter speed. Don't really want to have too long a shutter speed because it will smooth out the water too much. You lose the texture within the water. So I play around here, probably open up my aperture and try and keep it at around about maybe 1 to 1.3 seconds of an exposure time. That should be enough to be able to give me some flow within the water and also keep the texture like I said so it doesn't become milky smooth. Now as the light as well will go down, I might end up taking a longer exposure. We'll see how that will go as well. Nice contrast, I suppose, between the different types of shots. But yeah, what a beautiful location. Like I said a moment ago, the rock here is incredible and it's coming out so much in detail on the shots. What an absolutely incredible day we had here today in our first day in the trip to Scotland. We just got back to the van there now after a phenomenal uh, atmospheric conditions actually for uh, sunset. And now what I'm doing is I'm editing my vlog and Dermot is eating Nutella straight from the jar. So yeah, the kid is over there and the, the, the grown up is actually doing a bit of work at the end of the day. But yeah, what a phenomenal trip, yeah? Phenomenal day, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah as you can tell we're having the laughs here it's been a great first day and now i'm going to finish up i'm going to edit this uh video and until the next time hopefully you can join me for day two and uh see you again soon Schlange fall. Schlange. <laughs>